Hello everyone, this is Craig Chamberlain with the PCM Tech Help Show. That's right, the PCM Tech Help Show. Changing my domain. That's at PCMTechHelp.com. Now in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the Malwarebytes anti-malware software. Now, I'll be very surprised if you haven't heard of this software. It's actually one of the biggest names out there when it comes to removing malware, spyware, adware, viruses, pretty much anything you can think of. Now, malware stands for malicious software. So just about everything falls under that category that is bad. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up the software and take a look at it. Now, Malwarebytes Anti-Malware is free for personal use. Uh, they do have a pro version, which I have purchased and registered because, to be honest with you, I love Malwarebytes, but it's not essential that you get it. The only real feature that comes with pro is the protection module, which will run in real time. So let's go ahead and go over the basics of it. It's a very easy to use software, part of the reasons why I love it. Pretty much anybody can do it, and uh, this is one of my primary tips for those of you who are actually experiencing computer slowdown, is to run this software to make sure there's no viruses, spyware, or malware on your machine. So in the scanner module, as you can see right here, you have three options here. You have the quick scan, the full scan, and the flash scan. Now, flash scan will just basically run any memory and auto run uh, objects in the background, so that's like a real real quick in-system, in-process memory. Now that's only available to pro users. Now, that being said, you can do quick and full and it will scan the in-process memory. So you don't have to worry about that. Quick scan is typically what I recommend first. If you've never run it before though, always run a full. Uh, it will take quite a bit longer, but uh, that's usually the way I go about it. Now again, in the protection module, mine's currently disabled, but this is only for the pro. Uh, what it'll do is offer you real-time protection in the background. So as you're downloading files, opening programs, closing programs, you'll catch them before they hit it. Now if you're contemplating having good protection on your computer, you may want to consider doing Malwarebytes. Fantastic piece of software. It's the first one I tell people to go to for defense against spyware and adware, and I'm not the only one. Just ask around. The update module, very easy to use as well. Of course, it's like any other update system. Uh, you can set it up to do just check for updates. Now, you can't schedule automatic updates unless you have the pro version, but a lot of you will just open this up, run an update, and then run a scan, and then you'll be done with it for an uh, extended period of time. I don't know, two weeks to a month, depending on how often you download stuff and visit you know, those sites. Uh, if you go to quarantine, you can take a look at all the records of things that are in yours. And of course, I can go down and uh, see what's currently in my quarantine. Uh, this is part of a CNET downloader, which it's not really a dangerous piece of malware or spyware. It's just a prepackaged downloadable thing from CNET downloads. Again, you can uh, highlight them all and delete them. You can restore them if you accidentally deleted something you didn't want. And uh, that's pretty much self-explanatory. If you go to the logs, of course, you can take a look at all of the historical logs you've uh, scanned over the past X amount of years before you've cleared the log, and then you can actually double click on one and take a look at what occurred at that time. So if I scroll down through this, I can actually see if uh, what kind of scan I ran. Of course, this was a flash scan, and uh, obviously no malicious items were detected pretty much across the board. So that's a very easy thing to do. Uh, the ignore list is you can set it up to ignore certain things. and. Uh, and in the settings, you can actually set it up to uh, terminate Internet Explorer during threat removal, anonymously report usage statistics, things like this, basic stuff. You can set a password up, um, and you can warn you if a database has been outdated. Uh, if we go to more tools, the only thing on here really is File Assassin, and if for some reason you can't delete a file that's uh, running in the background, you'll just run this tool, and it'll actually let you select a file and, and kill it live. So uh, lastly, of course, it's about, and you can just see what version you have. Now that's all there is to this video. Uh, as you know, I'm gonna try to do a few more software reviews here and there, but uh, the big thing now to take from this video is to know that Malwarebytes is there, it exists. It's free for personal use. Again, I have all these downloads available at my website. That's at pcmichiana.com slash downloads. Um, and uh, I pretty much have every piece of software I'm gonna be reviewing on there. And uh, don't miss it uh, because I'm gonna have tons of them to come and uh, they'll probably help you out quite a bit. So again, thanks for stopping by. Like this video if you liked it. You can also follow me on Twitter. That's at Craig Chamberlain. You can also follow the company. That's at PCM Tech Help. You can also follow us on Facebook. Of course, PC Michigan Tech Help Show at Facebook. And also you can uh, follow me personally on Facebook. If you go to my YouTube channel, it's all there. So thanks again and uh, stay tuned. There's plenty more videos to come.